What's up, everybody? I'm Jeremy. You guys are watching Morphles Morphs. This week's video, it is exciting and sad. It is our last egg cutting where we can hit visual exam ticks. This is clutch number 11. I had to look because I forgot where we were at with the clutch count. Clutch number 11, last chance to hit visual exam ticks. Two are pipped. I'm happy, folks. I'm happy. I let it at that. But we're going to have an egg cutting. We're going to have a race. Dom's going to be racing against the only time one time defeated hadley um we'll see if hadley can't reclaim her throne but before we go ahead and dive into this week's video folks do me a favor hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell drop me a comment down below what are your thoughts on this pairing which one's your favorite what do you think we hit let me know in the comments below drop it let's go ahead check out the parents first All right, no. the sire to this clutch was this boy that has sired all of our Exantic stuff, basically, which is our Bumblebee double hat Exantic Clown that we produced our very first season. And like I said, he's sired at basically all of our Exantic stuff, so he's put in a lot of work. Hopefully, this was the last year of using this boy, and uh, we can use another male we have in the racks. But we'll have to wait and see. Let's see what happens. But uh, this boy has done a very good job. Make some beautiful babies. Now he. No, no, no. No. Now he was paired to this good looking lady. This is our Firefly Enchi Het TSK Exantic girl she is big she didn't give us a big clutch though she gave us a small clutch but hey we'll see you know we'll see what she does this season maybe but uh big girl small clutch but hopefully it's a gene packed clutch so hopefully she made it count but firefly and she said it's pastel and she in fire guys Het tsk exantic Let's cut some eggs, folks. All right. Dom, Hadley, it's up to you two. Or maybe you want Kira to pick. Kira can pick for me. All right, Kira's going to pick for Dom. It's going to be a race of the ladies. Who's going first? All right. Hadley, Hadley. you want to pick first since you're the, the little one? Since you're the little? No. Which one do you want? This one? All right. Mm -hmm. Make sure you check out Nathan at Infinite Possible Pythons. He is your guy to go to if you want to get into the Bang Project. On top of it, he's working a bunch of awesome ball python projects. Kahua geckos, Lichianus geckos, Crested geckos, some scaleless corn snakes, and he is your one-stop shop for all your branding needs. So check him out. Check out Chris Shelley over at BNS Reptilia if you need a high-end ball python, blood python, locality boa, or colubrid. He's also Pennsylvania's distributor of Coco to Go and the Chipper. And he can also hook you up with some rats. So make sure you guys check out Chris over at BNS Reptilia. He's going for one of the surprise eggs that we haven't seen with its head out. All right. Let's see. Ooh. All right. I'm liking this, folks. That is an exantic something. I don't know what it is, but that is an exantic something. I'm almost saying it's got spider in it with the, how reduced the pattern is. We've got a belly shot on it though. So we're gonna let that one just kind of go. But Hadley did hit an exantic. Oh yeah, girl. Okay. All right, now if in, in case anybody's wondering who in the world is Kira, that is the lovely lady that stole cameraman Dom's heart, and uh, she's making her debut in one of the videos okay. finally. So Kira, pick one, dear. All right, Kira's going for one of the other surprise ones that we don't know what it is yet. What do you think, Hads? Is she going to tie you up? You gonna talk some trash? You always talk trash to Dom by this point. Or you like Kira that much? All 
All right, let's see, let's see. Oh, wow. Another Exantic. That's crazy. I don't even, that's like Exantic Enchi maybe? I don't know, we can't see enough of it, but that is definitely Exantic. All right, heads, you and Kira are tied, dear. No, now it's a matter of which one do you remember which one was which out of those two. <laughs> you want to go with this one? Mm -hmm. All right. Gonna go with this one. This one I'm excited to see a little bit better. Head on over to Triforce Morris if you're looking for that missing piece in your ball python breeding project. While you're there, add a little bit of laser citron to the mix, folks. John and Christine can also hook you up with the crested gecko, so don't forget that. Turn up the heat with Triforce Morris. If you want to use the best reptile record keeping and tracking software on the market today, scan the QR code or click our partnership link in the description down below for a free 30-day trial of Husbandry Pro. I promise you, you will not regret it. And another, this is Pastel Exantic. Uh, who knows, it might be fire in there. We'll have to wait and see for it to come out. But Pastel Exantic, folks. Killing, killing the Exantic odds. Man. Good job. I think, yeah. I mean, it's got, I don't know. That's got to be Exantic. It's just got some color to it. All right, and Kira's last, but no option to pick anything other. Let's see here. And that is a killer zebra bee. It's a super pastel, exantic bumblebee. This was a head to head, folks, and we completely obliterated the odds. I think maybe that's a nice nice way to end the Exantic season, considering uh, the, one of the other clutches I was very highly anticipating. We got totally crapped on, and that was the, uh, the uh, freeway clutch. No freeways. Totally got dumped on by the odds gods. This makes up for that. This almost even makes up for not hitting any Exantic Clowns. So obviously, with everything being 50% het clown out of this clutch, we've got to test all these babies now. So once they shed out, we'll just, or once they come out of the eggs, we'll separate them, wait for them to shed, get the shed sent off to the one and only Charlie over at GreyRiderReptileShedTesting.com to get our test results. See which one of these babies are het clown. We'll know who then who is staying, who is going, so you guys can go ahead and purchase them. What's going to take about a week, two weeks, maybe here, you guys are going to get to, <clears throat> you guys are going to get to see in like a matter of seconds. So sit tight, folks, because you guys are going to get to see what these babies do look like after they've shed. So just sit tight, hang on, and we'll see you in a second. Stop wasting time trying to prove out animals or taking chances on possible heads or genes you don't know that are there. Head on over to Charlie at Gray Rider Reptiles and ShedTesting.com for all of your shed testing needs. He's fast, accurate, and adding new tests on a regular basis. So head on over to ShedTesting.com and check him out. Make sure to use the code CARPET15 for 15% off of your shed test order. Use nothing but the best at ShedTesting.com. All right, so let's start off with the first snake that fooled us inside the egg. This is what we thought was an exantic in the egg. Thought it was a little odd that it had a little bit of color. So now that it's out, had its first shed, we do know that this is a pastel fire. Possible het TSK exantic, possible het clown. So firefly, pos double het. Beautiful little guy. Is a pretty, pretty little combo. This one will definitely be up for grabs, folks. Again, this is a male 241104M is the number. So if you are interested, just shoot me a message. Give me that number. And I'll know exactly which baby you're talking about. Beautiful little guy. 
And next up, we've got this little guy. This is 241103M. This is a male. I think this is the all gene, or we're just missing the visual exantic, which I think we got a little bit of uh, paradoxing from the exantic coming through there, as you can see. Kind of like right here. A couple little spots. But this is a bumblebee, firefly, enchi. Enchi's definitely, you know, cleaning up the pattern, really taking a lot of uh, the pattern away, just cleaning it up, making it very reduced. Really neat looking little uh, little baby there. Really, I mean, this one's just crazy looking, folks. Absolutely crazy. And this one will be up for grabs as well. A lot of little paradoxing spots going on with this one, too. So it's kind of a cool looking baby. I've been calling it been calling it the no neck because it seems like it kind of goes from a head and just into a body almost kind of like a little sausage almost really cool little baby though again i believe this is a firefly enchi bumblebee so pastel fire enchi and spider and it's 66 percent double hat exantic and 50% head clown. All right, next up, we've got 221102F. This is a female. And this is a killer zebra bee, which I think might even have fire in there. I'm not entirely sure, but she is super, super clean. Absolutely gorgeous looking animal as well. She's really glowing on camera. Absolutely beautiful. She is one of two Exantics that we did hit. I thought we hit three out of four. We only hit two out of four in this clutch. So she is 50% Heck Clown. I do have her shed off being tested. I actually just sent it off today. So we should have the results back later this week. So uh, if you are interested, by the time you guys are seeing this video, I'll probably be getting shed test results back about two days afterwards so uh, hit me up if you are interested again this is a female she is pos het clown 100 percent tsk exantic because look at that it she is a visual absolutely gorgeous i don't know i, I think fire's in there we'll have to wait and see but uh, either way someone will get a beautiful beautiful female Hopefully she tests positive for Heck Clown as well. Are you ready to take it to the next level? Then check out DTMG Pythons. Danny is best known for his awesome clown ball python projects. This year's focus is Confusion, Hurricane, and Disco Inferno Clowns. He also specializes in high-end crested gecko morphs such as Exantic, Lily White, and Exantic Lily Whites, along with the Deadpool line of gargoyle geckos. Check out his morph market and Instagram, DTMG Pythons, just buy it. And last but certainly not least, this beautiful guy. This is a male. This is 241101M. This is a male. And I believe this is a Fire Bee Exantic Poss Hat Clown, 50% Hat Clown. Again, just like the other one you guys just saw, Shed is being sent off for testing. Is if this guy does come back heck clown one i've never held back any of the zebra bees that i've produced and uh needless to say if he comes back heck clown i'm going to hold him back just because he will be replacing his father and mainly just being a backup i've always i've always loved zebra bees i've always wanted to keep one i've never kept one that i've made just because i haven't been able to hit one that's heck clown to justify keeping it. So hopefully I can justify keeping it this time. So fingers crossed we do hit the heck clown. So that way I can keep this guy because he is gorgeous, clean. And just look at that folks. Absolutely stunning.
All right, guys, so that's it for Clutch 11. A small clutch, but a cool clutch. It was sadly, I do think it's going to be the last Exanti clutch of the season. The one that I was hoping yet to wrap up the 24 breeding season. Pretty sure she reabsorbed. It is what it is. She gave us a clutch last year. Last year was her first time. So uh, I don't want to say I kind of expected it, but I kind of did. Um, so anyway, good way to wrap up the season. Hopefully that male that I do want to hold back, that Exantic Fire Zebra Bee, hopefully that one, uh, you know, proves to be Heck Clown. So that way I can keep him. Replace his dad. That way I can just justify keeping a Zebra Bee that I did produce because I've always wanted just to have one, even if it just sits in the rack. I don't need to use it. I just want one to be able to look at them because I do enjoy their beauty. So hopefully he does prove out to be Heck Clown. So that way I can just justify it. <laughs> I mean, that way he's a good, he'll be a good backup and yeah. So anyway, that's going to be it, folks. Greatly appreciate all the love and support. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this clutch. If there's anything from this clutch you would like to purchase, let me know. Uh, shoot me a message, drop me a message in the comments and uh, we'll figure something out. You know, we'll talk, but uh, make sure you go ahead and check out the channel members, please. Uh, link for the channel membership is down in the description down below. Greatly appreciate all you channel members. Thank you very much for all the love and support channel sponsors go check them out guys without them hey they help keep everything turning over here also don't forget use code carpet 15 for 15 percent off your shed test order with charlie from gray rider reptile shed testing.com guys don't forget to use that code and also don't forget use code warfels 60 to get 60 days free of husbandry pro 60 days free guys you can't argue with that of the best reptile record keeping and tracking software on the market today go ahead use that code just give it a shot put five animals on see how you like it i guarantee you you will love it i've had so many so many positive responses at shows with customers saying how this is revolutionary and that they think everyone should be doing this so food for thought guys go ahead try it use it your customers will thank you for it in the long run and that's going to be it, folks. I will see you next week. Greatly appreciate all the love and support. I'll catch you next time. Later.